For the longest time editing in Final Cut Pro, when I was trying to do color correcting and trying to set my exposures properly using the color boards and things, I was doing everything completely wrong. And then I came across this little tool called Video Scopes, which changed everything. So if you guys haven't heard about Video Scopes and using your Luma waveforms and things like that to make your edits look a lot tighter and a lot better without just eyeballing everything, then you definitely want to stay tuned for today's episode. <laughs> I want to show you guys something today that I hope is really going to help you with your color grading and your just general editing of your videos. I want to show you guys a cool little effect, well not really effect, but a tool that you can use here in Final Cut Pro to really help you dial in these effects so you're just not eyeballing everything. And this little thing is called the video scope. So what you need to do is click on the view icon up here and then underneath show you'll see video scopes. You just want to click on that. Now mine's not set up entirely the way that it's supposed to be right now, but we can fix that. So if yours doesn't look correct, here's what you need. So click this little square icon with the little bar graph here, and then you wanna click on waveform if it's not already selected, and then down under the channels, you wanna make sure that Luma is selected. And what that's gonna do is give you this Luma waveform over here that's gonna kinda of show you where your highlights, shadows, and midtones actually are. So usually if we're going to go in and color correct or try to do some base edits on some video footage, well, a lot of us just kind of eyeball it till it looks good, but that's not necessarily the correct way to do it. And if you want to get better at coloring and just general setting up exposures and just fixing scenes and footage, you need to get used to a lot of these tools. And I promise you, it looks kind of scary at first, but it's relatively easy to use. So in the most basic form, I'm going to do this very simply. I'm just going to set up a color board here and I'm going to go into my exposure settings. Now, if you like to use the color wheels or the curves, or if you even have Color Finale Pro, you can do this in any one of those as well. I'm just using the most basic form because that's probably what a lot of you might be using. So what we want to do is we have our shadows, midtones, and highlights here. So what we need to do is pull our shadows down. And you can see over here this waveform, the shadows are actually moving closer to this zero line. Well, let me show you what happens if you start to crush your shadows. So you can keep pulling this line down as far as you want, but you can see here the image looks terrible for one. And then for two, you can see these lines here start to crush out. That means you're totally destroying what shadow detail you actually did have in the image. And now you're just making it just straight up black and there's no information there. So what we need to do is pull this back up. And a good rule of thumb is to have your waveform somewhere nesting around this zero line. It's okay if it kind of exceeds that just a little bit, but you don't want to be going way below the zero line. Like even here, it's not crushing, but still there's just too many areas where it's just way too dark. I'm just going to pull that up a little bit so the wave lines are just right there nesting on the zero. Now my highlights overall look pretty good. This was actually shot at a really bad time of day and the sky was not that great. It was very overcast and just kind of ugh today. So the highlights, we can pull those down a little bit if we so choose to do so, but it's kind of messing with the overall scene. So at this point, what we would want to do is move our mid-tones up to kind of compensate. Now, you don't want to go too crazy on it, but what you want is a nice, healthy balance within this entire waveform here. So that way everything is just nice and neat and exposed as properly as possible. Now, the better of exposure you get in your camera, the less of these edits you're going to have to do. But I just wanted to share this with you guys today. Again, you just go to view and view video scopes. And then what you're going to want to pull up is your uh, waveform here under the Luna section and just kind of utilize that technique to help you edit in your future videos. Hopefully learning about this tool today is going to help you guys get better edits for your finalized video projects. It's important to utilize things like this instead of just eyeballing everything because sometimes your eyes can trick you, especially if you don't have a great editing monitor, you're editing on multiple devices, you're not calibrated in. I mean, there's a number of different factors, but when you pay attention to these tools, they can really help you dial in the stuff so that way it looks good across all types of devices, monitors, setups, and whatever. I mean, you're not going to get everything 100% perfect because your average user may not have the most high-end monitors or outputs 
inputs to be able to view a lot of the stuff you're creating. But if you can get that stuff dialed in as closely as possible, it's just going to look way better. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out today. If you do want to learn more about stuff like this, be sure to leave a like on today's video so I know to create more videos just like this. And as always, be sure to create something new today.